Hello you guys, welcome back to part two of my Christmas decor series. I don't know how much we will get done in this video, but I'm hoping for a lot because we're kind of running out of time. But I know for sure I wanna get done the stair railing with the garland and the lights. I wanna do that tonight. Then I also wanna get done the full size tree upstairs. That way at least we'll have like the big things out of the way because all three trees will be done plus the railing. If you missed my last video, you might want to go watch that first where I start decorating. I take down all of the fall, pull out all of the Christmas, and then do the first two trees. So go back if you didn't see that yet, but let's get started. <laughs> day new outfit i got like nothing done yesterday unfortunately i don't know something about pulling this tree out and fluffing it just took way way longer than i expected and then we just got food and really just hung out the rest of the night so no more decorating was done what i want to do now is completely finish this tree i don't want you guys to get bored watching me do that so i will just do it now and i'll show you a clip of it when it's done this always ends up being my favorite tree of the house but i'll show you when it's done and then we can move on to some other things around the house spike he's got his christmas sweater on it's actually pretty cold here today so i thought he could throw his little sweater on how sweet is that huh here she is it's not showing up very bright on camera because it's super light outside but i love this tree so much five strands of lights fit on here all of these gorgeous ornaments you see came from walmart last year the tree itself is from amazon i will try to find it and link it for you guys tree skirt was from walmart the lights ooh, i don't know where the lights are from i think they're really old and then the santa hat as the topper is from hobby lobby added the lights onto the banister and then we hung up the stocking i keep forgetting to film for you guys but i also did this which i think i'm gonna add more to it sorry i don't want to get copyrighted copyrighted for that but yeah i wanted to probably add i'm thinking about adding some snow like at the base of it so that it's kind of more full over here but i have to make sure i have enough snow first because i'm working on this next which i'm just trying to decide if i'm going to put something on the subwoofer as well which i think i might so anyway that's going to be the charles dickinson's town that we always have i'm going to put it here this year instead of on the coffee bar because the coffee bar has become much too full to move stuff off of it for christmas so we're using the entertainment center this year but that's what's next outdoor decorating day went to grab my iced coffee it's really hot out today it's actually like 70 degrees so it's like kind of perfect but show them what you got <laughs> this is spike's favorite part of christmas is whenever we finish a wrapping paper 
we give him the roll and he loves it. Right now we're working on blow ups and wiring because the wiring is always the toughest part which people underestimate but we have so many cords, plugs. Um, these little guys are super cool from Walmart. You can plug like six different things into there and then it's a really long extension cord to get all the way to the house. Pro tip, if you are staking things into the ground, most blow-ups are going to naturally come with this kind of stake, which is really cheap and just a bendable metal. It's like not great, especially if you have hard Vegas soil. So buy these. They're in the camping section at Walmart. Much sturdier, can go way further in the ground. So much easier to work with, especially like I said in Vegas with the hard ground and then we get really windy during the winter. So this kind of ensures that they like really stay in the ground. All right, we got done the Grinch, these bush lights, the dog, all of these guys, big snowman. We put the little little sticker things on there. A lot of them fell off from last year, so we put them back on and then they have to cure for like 24 hours or whatever before we can actually hang lights later or another day. Mm -hmm. 